If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, Empress Guy to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We have some news coming out the Super Band and Weight Division. Yes, the one where now you anyway is undisputed at 122. Well, the news isn't coming from the monster, but it's coming from one of the monsters would be foes at MJ Akhmadaliev. We are finally going to see MJ return to the ring. You know, on December 14th, he'll be fighting Ricardo Espinosa you know and l last time we saw uh MJ Akhmadaliev was December 16th of 2023 against Kevin Gonzalez an undefeated fighter that he beat handily you know and now this time he'll be fighting December 14 2024 so he'll be away from the ring for over a year you know or, uh, sorry about a year you know two days short from a year and and he'll be fighting Ricardo Espinosa who's a pretty good fighter a pretty for formidable fighter he's on a five fight win streak since 2021 and really he had six fights but one of them was deemed a no contest so he's on a five fight win streak since 2021 so you know it's gonna be a good nice showdown right there man and we'll see if I'm MJ Akhmadali could rub off some of that um no did he shake off some of that um that ring rush right you know and um we'll see how that goes man now they will be fighting for an interim WBA title so it's nice to see him back in the rings he's been trying to wait for Naya anyway to get his opportunity to exercise his mandatory for the WBA title so it looks like Naya anyway might be out the uh he might be in the clear of getting stripped or is he right so remember you know now that they're fighting for the interim title they could very much still be going with that law lawsuit mj akhmadaliev and his team you know and his manager corner law they could still be pressing for it now anyway to either fight them or get stripped if you already know now anyway is fighting um sam goodman on december right in december december 24th christmas eve so they said they're going to push forth with that lawsuit and they're going to try to you know for, force the courts to strip uh Nadia anyway for avoiding and not you know satisfying his mandatory uh challenger and and, and M. Jack Madali. and the reason why this could lead to Nadia anyway very much well being stripped because if you remember last time we seen this right with another undisputed champion was Alexander Usyk and that's when Daniel Dubois fought Philo Hergovic for what the interim IBF title and then later after that fight after Dubois won a couple weeks later uh, Alexander Usyk was officially stripped and Dubois was what? Elevated to full champion. So do not be surprised if when MJ Akhmadaliev fights Ricardo Espinosa, the winner, you know, that they get the WBA interim title. Don't be surprised if the winner gets elevated and now you anyway get stripped, you know, for not satisfying his WBA mandatory, you know. So just be prepared for that. And But this card is good, you know, this card with MJ Akhmadaliev, I think it's decent. I'm not going to say it's good, but it's pretty decent, you know, as I'm it's going to be a Monte Carlo Monaco. So whoever's in around that area, man, I would definitely uh, attend this fight. And it has a decent fighter in there. Uh, one being uh, C4 Clark. You know, last time we seen C4 Clark, right? He fought Efetibor Apochi. You know, that was a good that was, that was a good fight right there. I was actually torn because, you know, C4 being Jamaican, you know, Jamaican born British man, you know, English man, you know, my mother's Jamaican. And, and Afetabor Apochi is Nigerian. My father's Nigerian. So I was torn from a cultural standpoint on who to go for. But, you know, C4 did come up on top on a very close, very nice fight. You know, and this time he'll return uh, on the MJ Akhmadali of undercard. And he'll be going against Leonardo. You know, Leonardo Muske, I believe is how you pronounce it. He's another undefeated cruiserweight champion. So not champion. He, he's another undefeated cruiserweight fighter. So that would be a good fight right there, man. Not to mention the other fighters in between. So I think this is a pretty decent card uh, put on by Matru, man. I look forward to it on December 14th, man. MJ Akhmadali back in the ring and be prepared for Naya anyway to lose his und undisputed status outside of the ring similar to how we saw Alexander Usyk man but I appreciate y'all rocking with me as always don't forget to like the video but most importantly remember with God we do anything without God we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're Florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets